welcome back to the channel dear viewers good morning hope you are doing well so uh, i'm back here with uh, again new set of current affair pertaining to 7 and 8 uh, november of 2024 so as uh, many exams are coming closer and current affair is a very important part of those exams so i am i have brought uh, the new sets of current affairs so uh, without delay let's start to this first question today's first question is uh, the ford lg cup horse polo uh, 2024 tournament was organized at the newly constructed uh, polo stadium goshen at okay so you have to tell where this uh, goshen is uh, situated okay so but the name uh, so this polo stadium uh, is at goshen so you have to tell me the name of the place the name of the stadium is goshen goshen polo stadium so you have to tell where it is situated so where it is it is in dras in the ut of lada union territory of lada next question is jim said two is a satellite of which country recently launched by Russia? So, Russia recently launched this very satellite from their soil. Okay. So, you have to tell the name of the country or whom this satellite belongs to. So, the answer is Zimbabwe. So, Zimbabwe have uh, launched their satellite via Russia. So, they gave the responsibility to Russian government to launch their uh, this gym uh, gym set satellite next question is which country is set to enforce its controversial burka ban law starting from january 2025 january 1 2025 so answer is switzerland so this very country switzerland is going to start enforcing its burka ban law i hope you all are aware of burka which the muslim women's wear the black cloth covering their body right uh, all of their body so they are going to ban this uh, very outfit burka so it will uh, tag effect from january 1 2020 so the name of the country is switzerland and next question uh, next question is sultan guns railway station in bihar is said to be renamed as what so this uh, railway Sultan Guns Railway will be renamed very soon. So it is going to be renamed as Achgai Vina Dam Railway Station. So very important question. Next question is Trusted Tour Operator Scheme is a part of new tourism initiative launched by which country? Answer is South Africa. So South Africa have launched this very scheme. Uh, to uh, what uh, foster their tourism industry so that people can easily uh, go for you know roaming in their country there will be a very uh, quick visa process especially for the Indians in South Africa so the under it is under this scheme trusted tour operator scheme next question is Ligno said the world's first wooden satellite was launched by which country? So, Ligno said, very important question. It is a wooden satellite, world's first wooden satellite. It was launched by Japan. Very important question. Next question is Ningol Chakoba is a festival celebrated in which state? Answer is Monipur. In Monipur, this is celebrated. This uh, very festival is celebrated by the Maiti people. Next question is Who won the Brazil Grand Prix? So it is Max Verstappen again. So in most of the time, it is this uh, Max Verstappen who win this type of Grand Prix Australian Grand Prix, uh, Brazil Grand Prix, and many Grand Prix, right? Um, so in most, most of the time, it is this person who wins. So it is very easy to remember this very person if you are regularly going through the current affairs 
you will find his name mostly in these Grand Prix. So he uh, happens to be winner most of the time. Next question is, who is the author of the book Speaking with Nature? So you have to name the author. Who wrote this book Speaking with Nature? So it is uh, Ramchandra Guha. Next question. When is the National Cancer Awareness Day observed? It is on 7th of November every year. Next question is, When is the World Radio uh, Radiology Day observed? On 8th November. Next question is, Who has topped the Hurun India Philanthropy List 2024? Answer is save another philanthropy. So, but they have donated to the charity how much? 2153 for the well being of the human being or for the well being of the humankind. They have donated this much amount from their company. Uh, 2153. So, but who topped the list? It is save another. Next question. Which country is said to ban social media for children under 16 years of age in their country? So it is a very important decision taken by which government, uh, sorry, which country? Australia. So they are said to ban the social media platforms like uh, Facebook, Instagram, all this, right? Uh, however, the internet access will be kept available for the children under 16 years of age but uh, they will be banned uh, from these uh, social media platforms of Facebook, Instagram. Okay. Next question is Mount Leo Tobi. Lucky Lucky. So the name of the mountain is Leo Tobi Lucky Lucky. Which recently erupted actually this is a volcanic mountain. So it recently erupted, spewing a massive ash. It's located in which country? So you have to name where this very mountain is located. So it is located at Flores Island, Indonesia, in the country of Indonesia. Very important question. So Mount Leotobi Lucky Lucky is situated at Flor Islands, Flores Island, Indonesia. Sometimes instead of asking the country, they may ask the name of the island. So you have to remember it as at Flor Island, Indonesia. If they ask the country, you have to just tell Indonesia. Okay, uh, member, all members of National Human Rights Commission of which country resigned on 8 November 2024, after the release of critical report highlighting an increase in mob violence, answer is Bangladesh. So, all the members of the NHRC of Bangladesh have resigned due to the uh, when they find that their, uh, in their report that there is an increase in mob violence, the intensity of mob violence is increasing in their country. So they have resigned owing to all that factor. Next and the last question for today probably is Who has been awarded the prestigious Rohini Nair Prize 2024? Answer for this is Anil Pradhan. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being with me throughout the session. Hope to see you in the next video. For more updates, please keep on following the channel. Thank you.